But get up. Ish is a young girl, Kenyan girl trying to move to Europe. Yeah. Doesn't matter how. Please avoid small small boys. Yeah. These uh, boys will give you infection. Yeah. I know. A lot of you will sleep with uh, multiple men. Yeah. Those are my bunnies. They always lie to you that ah, when I come to Kenya, I'll come and marry and take you. Uh, to Germany, to the US, to uh, Europe, yeah? And then you are sleeping with them without protection, yeah? And then uh, we have those uh, at the coastal, hmm? coast area. Hmm? They're always sleeping with those tourists. My friend, if you get any infection, please treat it before you move abroad, yeah? Run for your life. Because once you move to abroad, it doesn't matter US, UK, Germany, because we have laws, and laws, uh, you must be living in that country legally before you get healthcare insurance. And you can't go to chemist to buy uh, meds without doctor's prescription. Very hard. In Kenya, you can have like an uh, infection, you go to a chemist, uh, ask the, that guy from the chemist, like, hey, I'm feeling this and this, can I get a, a medication? That guy will write down some weird uh, medicine like uh, one times two, three times four, yeah? And take with water, a lot of water. <laughs> In Germany, it's totally different. You need to, uh, to have insurance before you can see a doctor. And then, then also you need to have a house, house asked. House asked like a house doctor, yeah? Doctor for your house or how do you call it in English? House asked a uh, house doctor. Now, if you get like uh, infection, you have to go to your house doctor, and house doctor will be with you forever, as long as you're living in Germany, unless you change your doctor. Yeah. So imagine you are there, you are infected uh, because you went to Europe, yeah, and then you went uh, for a visit, yeah? and then you found that yeah, Europe is so nice, yeah? good weather, especially uh, during summer, good uh, how do you call it? Um, infrastructure like a uh, railway line and yeah, you enjoy ride in the train you are feeling good feeling nice and then it said that ah i'm overstaying yeah <laughs> my friend overstaying in germany and you have infection hmm? gonorrhea <laughs> you'll see dust because you cannot access a uh, medical uh, uh, how do you call it answers <laughs> You cannot, uh, my friend, it's very hard. And then, uh, worst thing you can do is uh, infecting someone, yeah? You share your concordo diseases with someone. It's like when you land in, uh, in Europe, you have these Nigerian brothers. Hey, they love Kenyan women, yeah? You land there, you have these diseases you don't know in your body, maybe gonorrhea, and then you infect our Nigerian brothers. My friends, <laughs> after, after two days, they scratch them. Mm? My friend, you are in trouble because they will pro uh, broadcast to everyone in that area. Now imagine you are living in Stuttgart and then you infect one person. And this one person broadcasts to entire men in that town. Like that woman from Kenya, Kenyan woman, he, she is fire. She gave me a uh, conocodo disease. <laughs> I am scratching 24-7, my friend. You'll find that uh, most women, when uh, they experience this uh, radiocular, uh, how do you call it? Like backlash. Yeah? It's a backlash. Yeah? They tend to move to another city because they cannot survive in the same city. Because now imagine you are a pretty woman. You are in town. Everyone knows you have these conocodo diseases. Yeah? You are spreading around like wildfire. Hmm? Everyone will avoid you. You go to a club. You are sitting there. You are sipping your beer. No one is buying you beer because bad things spread so fast than good things. Imagine like when you are in Germany and then you win like Nobel Prize. No one will push the agenda like, you see that Kenyan girl, she won a uh, Nobel Prize. Even before they knew, uh, they knew about it, it will be like uh, two months, three months or six months. But having a disease, yeah, you give someone that disease. And also, you can be sued. Yeah? Infecting someone willingly, you can be sued by, by that person like uh, like HIV. If uh, you go to the doctor, they test you and then they 
they give you medication like uh, ARVs and then they know you are on, on RN, uh, RNVs and then you sleep with someone uh, else willingly like you don't tell them that like uh, you are this and this or they use protection you can be sued and you can pay that guy a lot of money so very be very careful yeah those boys like you are in Kenya you have your you are cheating boyfriends hmm? and then you decide that hey because th uh, this boy is so cute let me have him for the last time before I move to abroad my friend it doesn't go like that hmm? even if you move to German legal you have to we have a process now imagine you are itching hmm? and you have been you, you've been told that you have you, you've been given appointment yeah at the rat house two months because you are given three uh, three months visa and then you are told you go to rat house and then from rat house you get your social number from social number you can apply for your health insurance from your health insurance you can you can get a bank account you can open uh, everything you want with that uh, number now imagine you are suffering and you have to wait for like two months before you get that number before you get social health and then you apply for a, a house asked because you have to go by filling some forms like hey i want you to be my house asked yeah so that if you have any problem they can treat you first before if it's a major problem now now they will send you to major hospital like level four level five yeah but small small like uh, diseases uh, your doctor your house asked is the responsible one for everything like they can write you like a uh, crank mail doing uh, when you are sick when you are but uh, the kids also they have their own uh, uh, doctor good thing about german you can have your house asked and still have your your baby's doctor they are different because they deal with different things yeah so your doctor you are your kid has their doctor your kids let's say your kids have their doctors for you you have your doctor if something like operation or something like i don't know now they send you to to the hospital yeah but this one more thing you have like a house a doctor's uh, offices like in uh, how do you call it so be very careful yeah avoid men like if you know you are flying abroad uh, for the next like three months when you're in kenya avoid everything even if you you manage to get your visa just go to the doctor let your doctor uh, do the full body checkup on you like everything is good now you can move and then you can start new life abroad because even uh when you go for a uh, nursing yeah you've you, you've done your house building you've finished now you want uh, to be employed they have to test your blood like everything like hepatitis they'll check your hiv they'll check like if you have like a disease that you can transfer to your to the patients and and the old women so be very careful yeah watch yourself don't run in trouble yeah be very careful with your bodies be mean yeah don't just give it to anybody yeah and i'll see you on the next one bye bye